personal growth. This is my favorite quote, period. In times of change, learners inherit dirt, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. If the day you leave college, you decide to shut down that desire to learn new things, you will start dying. Not physically, but personally, professionally, this learning process for me when I graduated spiked. I turned it on and tried. Right now, I'm in the middle of doing a uh, my New Year's resolution, I guess you could call it, is a book a week for a year. Reading 52 books in a year. That's a lot. But here's my question. If I can read 52 professional business uh, books, how much further along am I going to be at the end of the year? Okay? That's a lot of reading. Now, I will admit that that's part audio book when I'm driving and reading when I stop. Okay? So, my encouragement is to you is to understand that change is important. All right? Do a little demonstration here. All right? Everybody got your hands free? Let's see your hands. All right. I want everybody to put your hands together like this. All right. How many of you have your right uh, finger on top, right thumb on top? Raise your hand. Okay, y'all are the smart ones. Okay. How many of you have your left thumbs on top? Y'all are, y'all are here. <laughs> How many of you don't know what thumbs on top? Y'all stayed out too late last night. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take your hands apart and put it back the other way. Okay? Some of y'all are like, mm. <laughs> how's it feel? Feels weird, huh? That's very, 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 very minor change. Change is uncomfortable. It is. Okay? Change is very uncomfortable. Uh, Tommy Hopkins said the price of progress is the pain of change. You got that? The price of progress is the pain of change. That is a very minor change. In the next six months to a year, you guys will be going through some of the biggest changes of your life. And it is going to be uncomfortable. Okay? But it's just the necessary process. Okay? It's the necessary process of growing up, whether it be taking your job more seriously, taking your relationships more seriously, taking your money more seriously. Whatever it is, that change is going to be uncomfortable. But it's just, it's necessary, okay? Like I said, I'll give you one more time to read this through after that. In the times of change, learners and here are while to learn, find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. If you don't change, you will be left behind, okay? Staying stagnant, staying in the same spot, doing the same thing that you've always done, you will be left behind. said, what is the price of progress? It's the pain of change. Alright. Here's my challenge to you. This is a personal challenge. These items on this topic on the personal growth. You won't have to do any of these. And if you didn't do any of them, you wouldn't have lost a whole lot, but you probably wouldn't have gained as much. Okay? So, what do you enjoy learning about? For me, I enjoy reading my business, reading biographies, that kind of stuff. What do you enjoy learning about? What kind of career path are you going to be in? Do you enjoy that? Is it nursing? Is it business? Is it teaching? My challenge is to you is whatever you enjoy learning about, cut out some time to learn about it. Keep that learning process going. I think a long time ago I read that somewhat 80% of adults have not read a book cover to cover since they graduated college. 80% of adults. That is unbelievable. Y'all been a growth pattern so steep lately uh, that's, that's unlike anything that you'll go through in life again unless you go to grad school. My challenge is to you is to keep that learning process going. It's very important to success. For me, like I said, it was a book a week challenge. I think it was just the constant consuming information that was beneficial to me. Uh, so I challenge you to don't let the learning stop when you graduate, okay? What hobbies do you enjoy? I don't need, we're not going to take a poll what you enjoy doing. For me, I enjoy outdoors, golf, you know, hunting, fishing, that kind of stuff. So figure out what hobbies you enjoy. Is it fitness? Is it 
Uh, is it art? Is it reading? Is it playing an instrument? Is it donating time to a, a cause that you're passionate about? What are those hobbies that you enjoy doing? Okay. The most important thing, set aside funds to do it. It's easy and it will become easier as you work to find time to not do the things that you love to do. It's going to get busy. You're going to have long hours working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. It's going to be hard to find time to do the things you love doing. And you're going to find reasons, hopefully if you're saving well, to put that money towards something else. But you've got to find a couple of these things that you love doing to set aside the time and the money to do. Okay? This is not all about work. Okay? I love working. I love doing what I do. But I love what it does financially and allows me to do, like travel, play golf, hunt, fish. So set aside the funds uh, for these, very important. Um, just make sure you build this in your life because if you let things get busy, you won't have time to do it. Um, so make sure you set aside those things. All right, this is what I do every year. Every year, right at the tail end of the year, I did it in college, I did it before I was married, now I do it uh, with my wife. What went well? These are some questions you want to ask yourself at the end of each year. What went well? What did we have success at? What did we enjoy? Um, so what went well? What are those things that you said this year? I really enjoyed doing this. This was a lot of fun. We had great success at this. Uh, so write down those things. What didn't go well? Or what do I want to stop doing next year? Okay? Maybe it was a relationship. Maybe it was a job. Maybe it was maybe it was a hobby. Maybe it was finances. Well, write down those things that didn't go so well last year. Okay. What would you like to do more of? Travel. Uh, so just kind of write down that list. And then, what is something new that you'd like to try? Something that you've never done before. You may always want to do. Maybe. So kind of sit down, uh, figure out what those things are. Maybe it is a specific trip. Maybe, okay, I've never been to South America. I'd love to go. This year I'd like to go to South America. Okay? But get all these things out on paper. It kind of it puts it in a more tangible uh, fashion where you can actually sit there and go, okay, I want to do this. Don't want to do this anymore. It costs you to be honest with yourself, to be introspective. A lot that comes along with personal growth is due to being introspective. Looking at your life saying, what am I good at? What am I not good at? What do I need to improve on? What are some changes I need to make? Until you're willing to look at your life and say, man, I'm just not really good at this. i got to improve. That growth won't take place. Okay? That's why a lot of people, New Year's resolution comes along, they want to lose weight, or they want to improve this, they want to switch jobs, because they sit there and go, man, I hate my job, or... Yeah, you know, put on weight or I want to start doing this differently. So this is my challenge to you next year around December. Sit down even if you spent an hour just looking at these things. I think it would really shape your next year, especially if this is following with max times. Okay? What I want to stop doing, what I want to do, what's something new I want to try, what I want to do more. Okay? Does that make sense?